Whether you order one of their overloaded plates, sling back a tasty flight, or happen to run into the owners... Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Matt. You're bound to be seeing double at the Charred Oak Tavern. Situated in Middleborough Center, the Charred Oak Tavern is the brainchild of brothers Mike and Matt Menard, two hands-on owners who also happen to be identical twins. We are twins. The fun part is, is that we literally can be in two places at once. Sometimes we look like Superman. He might be running in the kitchen in his set of clothes, but I'm walking out of the kitchen in my set of clothes and it looked like I just ran in and out and changed like, like Superman. This can sometimes cause confusion, according to front of the house manager, Sylvia Furtado. It can cause some confusion on the floor, but oddly enough, they actually answer to either name. They have no problem with it because they're really used to that. You'll always find Sylvia and the brothers running around the rustic yet refined dining space, decked out with reclaimed wood, exposed brick, high ceilings, and low lighting. And we decided that Middleborough needed a little piece of something different, something unique. We like to think that it's a little bit of Boston without having to go so far. And back in the kitchen is where you'll find executive chef Manuel Hernandez, a young cook with an old-fashioned work ethic. He's young, but his mind is just wise beyond his years. You see it in his food. You see it in the way he talks. Have no bacon. You guys saw that, right? You see it in his drive. Come on, give me some tickets in. He absolutely is an inspiration. And his menu will inspire you to pig out with apps like loaded potato boats stuffed with slow-cooked short ribs, sharp cheddar, and a barbecue sour cream drizzle, stuffed quahogs spiked with linguisa and applewood smoked bacon topped with a roasted garlic lemon aioli, and artfully presented bourbon candied bacon served hanging from a clothesline. As soon as they see it, they're still just blown away. Like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's thick slabs of applewood smoked bacon, and they are glazed, and then they are baked to nice nice crisp, but they still hold shape because they're nice and thick. So when you bite into it, you just get that candied crunch, but they're still really soft and it breaks apart in your mouth. They are delicious. And who doesn't love bacon? Bacon even makes its way onto the nachos, which are anything but traditional. There's candied bacon bits that are chopped really thin. There's chopped tomatoes, there's chopped onions, and then there's blue cheese crumbles all over it. And then the best thing about our nachos is there's a spiced honey drizzle. It really brings out all the flavors because of the sweetness and the spiced honey. And then you have a dollop of avocado creme fraiche. If you want a dish inspired by the chef's mother, order the Caribbean bison meatloaf, served over Red Bliss mashed potatoes, sauced with a Cabernet mushroom gravy, and spiked with a hard-boiled egg in the center. Coming from the Caribbean, I remember my mom always put a hard-boiled egg right in the center of the meatloaf, so every slice just has a nice hard-boiled egg, which is very attractive and it's delicious. Who doesn't like meat and eggs? Another dynamic duo is the short rib mac and cheese. Two great tastes that taste great together. It's Tritoli pasta so the pasta itself really holds all the flavors together and then you have the four cheese barbecue sauce you have the short ribs and then it's actually sprinkled with whiskey smoked panko sugar on top and it just gives it that nice nice flavor and it is to die for it's a great dish it's comfort food even the burger is enhanced with the combination of blue cheese and jalapenos what we do is we actually take a jalapeno pepper we stuff it with blue cheese and then we just cut it into thin little wheels we top it on the burger and then we just drizzle it with sriracha you have to like spice in order to like this burger but it's definitely one of the best. Chard Oak also offers big plates of traditional comfort food faves from sticky bourbon ribs braised in apple beer and big plates of fried haddock, scallops, and shrimp. But nothing beats a great steak. And at Chard Oak, they claim it's the best. We take pride in our, in our Chard Oak Tavern house steak. The house steak, you know it's got to be something good if we're putting our name on it. So it's a nice piece of a center-cut New York sirloin steak. And of course, it's cooked to perfection, whichever way you like it. And then we put a nice dollop of a garlic butter right on top. It just falls apart in your mouth. It's a really great great steak. And while the chocolate lava cake paired with an Irish coffee may be a sweet pair to end your meal, there's no twosome who seem to work better together than Matt and Mike. Through life, we've worked together almost every job we've ever had, so it is actually a very natural fit for us to work together. It, it, it's, it almost feels more unnatural if I was working somewhere that he wasn't. We work really well together, and we are both really excited and proud of finally creating something that we've always wanted to create for a long time.